What is up everybody, Nico back for another Pokemon BDSP competitive video. Today, we are gonna be doing our first Wi-Fi battle on cart, and I'm gonna show you guys the particular global room link code that can be used to get into OU battles. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come down here, and this code comes from Pokey Ames videos. He made the code 2022-2021. That way you're able to hop in. This is going to be the unofficial ranking ladder for Pokemon BDSP if you want to perform in the OU category. So 2022-2021. Put that in. Hopefully we'll be able to get a battle pretty quickly here. And there it is. Just like that. I only waited like 20 seconds at most. Go ahead and get a single battle in with this man. Here we go. Perfect. Grab our Torterra team that I featured in a video the other day. Full breakdown is available if you guys want to check that out. We'll throw this guy on here and we'll battle. Now, one thing to note if you're going to do Wi-Fi battles on cart is that there is the timer. There is the time limit. So you're going to have to be very careful when you're going about doing battles on cart. Um, looking at this team... Who do I want to lead? Huh. Another thing to note is you can't look at teams in game. You have to make sure that you take a picture, a screenshot, do whatever you got to do before you get into game. Otherwise, you're going to be screwed. You're, you're going to have to just go off of memory at that point, which can be a little bit tricky. So I think what I want to do is lead Rotom here. And then just throw everybody else in. I think Rotom lead is the way to go. The only Pokemon that really scares me on this particular team is that um, Alakazam. Alakazam is something that can be a bit of a pain. That's what I figured. That's why I wanted to lead Rotom. Because Rotom actually handles pretty much everything on their team. Let's see. What do they got? Yeah, anything they really swap into here, I take with ease so i'm just gonna go for a volt switch off the bat yep they're gonna u-turn wasn't very big damage let's see what they got let's see what they do their own rotom comes out that's fine we're gonna volt switch here boom little chunk we're gonna go back Let's see. I mean, Torterra is our obvious play here. We send Torterra in. And what do we got there? Leftovers? Yeah. So now we got to look at this. What do we think they switch to? I feel like we almost have a very free stealth rock opportunity here because they're not going to keep this in. So we get to get our rocks down. The extra chip from the rocks is going to be very, very helpful. Because there's no way they keep Rotom in. If they keep Rotom in, I'd be very surprised. It just doesn't have an attack that really does anything to... They might Will-O-Wisp, maybe. That might be their play. But I, I highly doubt it. I foresee a switch in here to Gyarados or Scizor. Yep, there's the Scizor switch in. We'll get our rocks down. And what we'll do is we'll just switch into our own scissor. We'll just take the hit. And we'll be in a pretty good position. Now this scissor is more offensive. This is a banded scissor. Oh, go for the defog. Okay. You like to see it? Like to see it? Do they have a more defensive scissor? What we're going to do is we're just going to go for U-turn. Will you turn into Infernape? Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to actually get this battle done. I know why there's a 20-minute timer. It does suck that there's a 20-minute timer, but there's just so many games that can be stalled out forever without the 20-minute timer, and that's just not what the Pokemon Company wants their battle to be. They want them to be quick. They want them to be skillful, thought out, versus just having a cheese Pokemon and just kind of switching around left and right. Like, that's not what they're going for. 
So I, I, I mean, I've played enough teams on Showdown testing these teams to know why there's a 20 minute timer, but it does suck. All right, so the obvious switch here is we just go right back into Rotom Wash. Uh, where's Rotom Wash? There he is. Rotom Wash comes out. Now, I don't think they're silly enough to stay in. We're going to swap again. We're just going to go for Volt Switch. If they stay in, I'll be very surprised. This is going to be a four times damage Volt Switch. Let's see. What could they switch into, though? Their team is just... They have a lot of squishy Pokemon, and they're very weak to Electric-type attacks in general. I'm trying to preserve my Infernape because I know with the damage from my Infernape, I should be able to clean this up pretty easily. Their Infernape comes out, actually, which is a bit of a surprise. Big damage on Infernape there. We're going to swap. And I think, honestly, what I want to do is just throw my own Infernape into this. I think what we do is we just go for close combat. And I outspeed because I'm scarfed. We knock out Infernape. No problem. Now we're going to have to switch Infernape out. Unless I just know I KO whatever they throw out, which I doubt. It'll probably be Alakazam that they throw out. I would imagine it's Alakazam. They're really thinking about what they're throwing out. I I can't imagine they throw... I, I guess they do have, you know, things like Gyarados and other Pokemon that can handle Infernape very well on their team. Uh, we just go into Scizor. Why am I... Oh, I see what happened. I was going to say, what the world? I went over to the attacks. We swap in Scizor. We take everything that this Pokemon has with Scizor. Boom, we take that hit. Now what we do is we U-turn. Because they're likely going to swap. I'd imagine they swap into... What do they even have? Their Infernape's gone, so I don't really have a threat to Scizor. I mean, they're definitely swapping here. They're definitely swapping. I, it's probably into Gyarados, if I had to guess. Otherwise, they're going to take a U-turn, and it's very much going to hurt that Alex Dan. Gyarados comes out. Yep. We will get intimidated. It's a smart play if I was going to keep Scizor in, but we just U-turn. We get Rotom Wash back in. And it still did pretty good chip damage for not being very effective and being intimidated. I'm not mad at that. Um, We go back right into Rotom Wash here. We could go Magnezone, because we don't really have a threat to Magnezone anymore either. I think I rotate Magnazone here. What are the odds? It probably has Earthquake, so I actually like the Rotom Wash better. Knowing it's a Gyarados, they probably, yeah, 100% have uh, the Ola Earthquake on there. What do they switch to here? Scizor, likely. We Volt Switch. They go back to Scizor, and we just bring out Infernape. And unless their Alakazam is Scarfed, I outspeed it with Infernape, and I can get Big Chip with U-Turn. What do they bring? Their own Rotom. Okay. I like that. I'm okay with that. Because we get big damage there. They're going to hit Leftovers, but that's fine. Because we can actually throw our Latios out. Because they don't really have anything that does damage to Latios, and I have Energy Ball. So unless they're very defensive, I'm going to knock this out right here.
Yep, we get Energy Ball off. No one's expecting the Energy Ball carry on Latios. So you get a lot of big hits on a lot of the water types in the format with that. Especially with Rotom Wash being so incredibly common. Like, you're going to see that Pokemon a ton just because it has Levitate. It's going to be very good with other Pokemon like Gengar and stuff like that. You're going to see it a lot. And having that option to switch in Latios and get the Energy Ball off because no one's ready for it is pretty good. Um, What's this thing's speed? What is Ninjask's speed? Oh god, I don't know that I have time to look into it is the problem. I want to look it up, but I don't know if I have the time to. So I'm going to just swap back to Scizor. Because I don't know if I outspeed. I feel like it has a very high base speed, but I can't remember it off the top of my head. A sword stance. And we're just going to actually stay in. Because I don't think even sword stance Ninjask is going to take out Scizor. I think I take a hit here. We're going to go for wing attack and we're going to try and knock it out. I don't know what it could possibly have to be a serious threat. I know it's going to outspeed. Baton pass. Very interesting. Who do we switch to? That's kind of a cool setup. I like that. Who are we switching to? So we got double damage on whoever they decide to switch into. It's probably going to be Gyarados. Yep, Gyarados comes back. They Intimidate, which is unfortunate. We knock it down to half. And we're going to have to switch because we're banded. Um, What do we switch to? Issue is I don't know that we take a hit here. That's really cool setup. That kind of puts... Puts me in a weird place. What do they have? What's the rest of their team look like? Um, I kind of almost just want to keep Scissor in. Because I think I can take... I might be able to take a hit. They're going to go for a Dragon Dance. They're going to be just an unstoppable force now. Very cool setup. Wow. That's an incredibly cool setup. Unbelievable. Alright, um, I gotta think. I gotta think. I don't think I have any priority is the issue. I have Mach Punch. I don't think I knock it out though is the issue. Like, I'm really relying on Infernape to knock this out with a Mach Punch. But it's not very effective and I just don't know if it'll have the damage to do it. We're going to have to try it, though. It's pretty much our only bet, because I'm not outspeeding this thing. Oh, no. Wow. That's an incredible setup. I don't know that there's a way around that. I mean, I, I really had to have switched out and gotten rid of the chip damage there. Um, What do I do? Yeah, I think I needed to switch there, because Scizor's bullet punch could have knocked it out. Um, but I just don't think there's a way for me to... I'll damage this Gyarados. That was really cool. I was not expecting it. That was a very cool play. We're gonna use bulldoze do i take it though because the shuka berry is in play we do we take it Ooh, that's dangerous wow very cool very cool setup i like that a lot here we go all right we gotta think here what do they have left? They have Alakazam. We knocked Gyarados out. We knocked Infernape out. We 
They got the Rotom Washout. Gyarados is gone. So they're down to Ninjask, Scizor, and Alakazam, right? Hmm. I think... Let's bring in Rotom Wash. Because we take a hit on whatever comes out with Rotom. Hmm. This is getting tricky. Alakazam comes in. Honestly, I'm okay with trying to do some chip damage on this. Ooh, it's got energy ball. Good play. We hold on. We do have Citrus Berry. Probably should have just Volt Switched now that I'm thinking about it, but... We go ahead, we Thunderbolt this. It's going to do big damage. And now what we can do is we can rotate Torterra in because we know it's going to go for an Energy Ball. We predict the Energy Ball. It might go for something like Psychic. But we predict the Energy Ball again and we bring in Torterra. They go for Psychic. Um, what do we do? What do we do? This is a good battle. Good lord, this is a really good battle. I think we just go for it. Because we're probably getting knocked out here. Yeah, we lose Torterra. Unfortunate. The problem was that we... I didn't read the uh, earlier plays. And that kind of screws me uh, with their particular setup here. I don't, I'm not going to be able to outspeed it. There's no way I outspeed this, right? I think I've lost. I think it's pretty much chucked. But... I should have swapped earlier into the Gyarados play because I could have preserved Infernape and that would have won me the game. Uh, we'll just go for Ice Beam here. Dazzling Gleam, do I hold on? We do. That's big. I held on there, so that's super big. The problem is I just don't have anything that deals with Scizor. Preserving the Infernape, I think, just ultimately won me the game. Because they are defensive set Scizor. There it is. Um, yeah, nothing on this Pokemon is very effective. Um, I'm kind of thinking just go for the Draco Meteor and let it sack me. They're going to Bullet Punch. We aren't even going to hold on. Yeah, preserving the Infernape in that play would have been better. I risked the Scizor, which was the bad play. I needed to rotate out and I probably could have just sacked Rotom. I could have sacked Rotom or I could have gone into Magnezone. I think going into Magnezone was the better play against Gyarados. That would have really done it. And then after going into Magnezone, battle will end in three minutes. Yeah, we're getting close to the timer. I was going to say this battle's kind of dragged on. But going into Magnezone, into the Gyarados, we would have survived the hit and probably could have knocked it out, honestly. Um, and that would have just preserved Infernape for this moment because not having anything that really handles Scizor late game is what's losing me this battle ultimately. Big damage here. You go for another bullet punch. We might actually hold on. Yeah, we do. Okay. Weird. We Thunderbolt. 
we knock out Sis this is gonna be very close this is gonna be an incredibly close battle now that you're just left with ninjas I'm just gonna go for the Thunderbolt here let's see if they even have anything to uh, like do enough that's ultimately what it comes down to. They're going to U-turn. Do I take the hit? No. Okay, so... Magnezone might take the hit. I don't know if Magnezone takes this hit. But it, there's a chance. Like, this is very close. I'm not mad at this battle because I learned what Ninjask does. This, this is the first Ninjask I've gone against. They're gonna go for Sword Stance. I should just knock it out with Analytic, unless it's Sashed. If it's Sashed, I'm, I, it's over, but. Oh no! It's Sashed, paralyze it, paralyze it. They get a speed boost. No, that just sucks. Do I take this hit? No? No. Oh, man, that's so crazy. Ninjask is nuts. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's a good battle. That's a good game right there. I just didn't know what the Ninjask was going to do. So it was just, it was an interesting play. Now I know. And I know preserving the Infernape there was the, was the play. Preserving Scizor and Infernape, Bullet Punch would have handled the Gyarados and Infernape could have handled the Scizor and we just would have finished the game like that but hope you guys enjoyed the video there will be more Wi-Fi battles coming very soon so hope you guys found it entertaining if you did make sure you leave a like and smash the subscribe button for more stuff like this in the future but until next time I'll see ya